Cloud Cleaning is AWS IAM Security Assessment tool that identifies violation of risk privilege and is based on a NIST 800-30 and checks following problems. Data exfiltration, credential exposure, infra modification, and privilege escalation. Cloud Splaining also allows multi-account scanning. This multi-account scanning creates multi-account config.yaml and it's pretty simple to set this up. I took that from the documentation. So user or role initiates the scan and the scanning user needs to assume the role. The results can be stored in S3 bucket and assuming role basically targets the, the target account. So it grips, grabs the authorization details and analyze the accounts provided. These accounts are stored at the inform or the information about these accounts is stored in multi-account config .yaml, and this is the way how you can target multiple different accounts for the IIM scanning. Cloud planning is a great tool for evaluating your IAM permissions, your role, your policies, your inline policies, and knowing if you can exfiltrate or expose any data to internet or there is, if there is a possibility of privilege escalation in your IIM roles. So let's check on cloud planning. Cloud planning is an open source tool that can create a lot for you. Cloud planning is an AWS IAM access assessment tool that investigates violation of your least privilege and generates a risk prioritized HTML report with a triage worksheet. And that's something that I will show you how to generate this thing and how to analyze the output results. First thing that we really need to do is a create an exclusions file. So first thing, we'll write cloud explaining and create exclusion file. So what this will do, it will create a YAML file, which creates an exclusion template. So it will tell you which parts of your IIM roles or your users you want to exclude from scanning. So when I will hit this one, this will create, and I will list my directory, an exclusion YAML. When this YAML file is created, I will show you what's there. It creates a very simple YAML file with the policy names to exclude or also the service role that you want to exclude because sometimes you have roles like a service roles that you really do not need to or do not want to scan or you want to exclude specific users or groups from your scanning and this will speed up the analysis of your IAM permissions. Always think that this is a contextual analysis. So what you can do next, okay, I created this exclusions file and then when I want to run the scan, I need to use cloud planning scan. If I will hit this, it will run the scan on my default profile. If you, if you have already assumed role as part of your profile, you really can do multi-account scanning. But for simplicity, I will not do that today and I will show you how to use this exclusion file with generated default JSON. So I will run, I will run uh, the scan and what it will do. Okay, this will not do anything because I didn't put any input file. So if I need to, for that, I really need to prepare my default JSON, which will contain all the metadata about the roles. So I will write download and it will download all the information about my IAM roles, users, groups, and everything which is needed. So it will take some time. Then after that, it will create default.json, which is a JSON specification. I will write open, open, or oh no, I will use it in, in Visual Studio Code, default JSON. So when I will open this default JSON, I will show you what's inside. The default JSON file contains the user detail list and the group detail list. So you see here the user backup Marek with the user ID with the specific ARN 
which is AWS resource number, when it was created, in which group it is, and for example, the DAX and attached managed policies. The same thing is for Hackitect and other users that I have here for you, my YouTube channel. And when you look at the group details, you can see the group. I have here the Avengers group administrators that are some admins, and I see which policy is assigned to this group. So it means that all the users in the groups will inherit this specific IAM permission. And also, uh, I see more about, about the, the group itself, about the, another groups like a full admin YouTube, that they have full administrator access that you shouldn't have uh, in the accounts where you manage your production accounts, uh, if it is not the, the broken glass account. And also there's like my S3 user group that is for the S3 management and other things. You see here lots of details about my policies, about the roles. There is a detailed list about the roles, which is telling you what is in the role, how the statement looks, what's the version of the role, what is allowed, what is not allowed, what is denied. So all of these metadata and informations are taken as input for scanning. So after the analysis or the default JSON is created, there is another part that you really need to do. You need to use your exclusions file and your input file to generate the analysis. So I can take this one. I can take an exclusions and input default JSON. So I will use this command, cloud planning, scan, then use the exclusions files with the exclusion YAML and then the input file, the default JSON that I just showed you. So I will hit enter and what it will do, it will exclude all the services that we defined in the exclusions YAML file and it will create a report about the, uh, about the IAM analysis. So let's open the HTML report, IAM report you see that there is a JSON with the metadata that you can scan. And there's also HTML report that we can open. So report and open that one. Cloud planning provides you an executive summary. Where is the report? A report containing the security assessment results. And it shows you the privilege escalation. So elevation of privilege on your account or resource exposure for your uh, for your data, for your endpoints, for your services. So you will see what is exposed to another users or internet that can be very malicious. Infrastructure modification, it can be also wanted. So that's something that I really want to mention. Some stuff you really want in your uh, account because it is a purpose of that. And this tool is not like the godlike tool. It will just give you a guide where you should target your stuff or where you should target your IAM more precisely. So data exfiltration is another point for knowing which data can be exfiltered from your account. And when you will see here that there are some inline policies that are the policies attached to a specific object are here and then AWS managed policies. There are three types of the policies or customer managed, AWS managed and then inline policies and when you will see that uh, that's something that you can basically attach to the specific users or roles. And <clears throat> when you will look at the data exfiltration, there is another area that there are customer managed policies, AWS managed policies and inline policies in this area of interest. Then the resource exposure, credentials exposure is another field where your IIM permissions are evaluated. It's Basically, credentials exposure, nothing more to say to that. And infrastructure modification, which can be very, very dangerous when you will think about the attacks like a black infra or offensive terraform, where somebody can build a black infrastructure in your own account and you will be not aware of that. So if there is no intent on building additional infrastructure, you should precisely review your IAM permissions. Then when you will look at the customer policies, you will see my here, my customer policies with full policy document. Where is the version, the statement, the SID, so the unique ID of the state of the policy, the effect, allow or deny, the actions allowed on the resource. And what is very interesting, it will tell you in which areas your policy is failing in the best practice. So there is a data, data exfiltration, 
with unrestricted S3 get object permissions. So what you should do, it will tell you here and it will tell you how you review your level access, how you level your resource access and how you identify the false positives. So this is something that I really recommend everyone read carefully to identify the read policies or read for false positive policies that can be very tricky for you. Also how to fix it. So it also recommends to use policy sentry or parliament, which are other, other tools that you can use for uh, boosting your IIM exposure. And the same thing is for the resource exposure, for the service wildcard and the infrastructure modification. Wildcard is here because we allow everything on an S3. You see here, like S3 star. That's what we have here. And the same thing goes for inline policies. Here it is more dangerous and it's very beneficial because you, when you are adding so much inline policies, which are affecting mainly services and infrastructure modification is possible or also data exfiltration. For example, here in my code pipeline policy, there is lots of things around credentials exposure or uh, infrastructure modification. There are many actions allowed from my uh, code pipeline service policy. And maybe there is some fine tuning needed because I don't need so many permissions. And you see that the effect, or you can observe the effect on my account is massive. And same as with AWS policies. So if you will see that some of the AWS policies is very permissive for your needs, I recommend to create your own customer managed policies stripped by the rules that you or roles and con con constraints that you really don't need and at, at your conditions. See here, for example, data exfiltration is because of the get object, SSM get parameter and secret manager get secret value. You really do not want to get somebody give permission to get your secret value. So it is very also important to review if this user in this group really needs to have these permissions. So it gives you a really nice guide. And also this page with IAM principles displays the IAM groups, users and roles in the account and their associated policies and the risk associated with each principle and various metadata that can be expanded per principle. So that's also very good metadata needed for the further analysis of your IIM. Uh, this is something that I really recommend you to do as a homework and read how to triage the findings from cloud splitting. So there is an assessment recap, how to use and cloud splitting here. You see that they use the profile default. By default, it is using default profile, but you can select another one. And also you can create your own exclusion file with any any changes you want. And also there's an appendices or how to say it, additional guide that you really need to know uh, to evaluate your IIM permissions properly. There are all the areas that you really need for your knowledge or basically basic understanding if you are not the security expert, but this tool is very good for purple teaming, for cloud engineers, for penetration testing, also for and for AWS architects or for cloud architects. And also what I really want to mention and it's super important, these findings and ratings are based on NIST 800-30. So basically it will tell you here that what is critical and what is the low. So for example, critical is it causes multiple severe or catastrophic effects on the operations assets and other organizations. So if you have any critical finding, that means the red ones, you really need to review the policy and I recommend that. So what is your, what is your opinion about this tool? So please comment under this video and tell me, let me know about your opinion and let me also know what you want to see in my videos. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. I'm really, really, really thankful for having you. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe, use your mouse and feel free to subscribe. That's it. And if you want to see more, check to here or here, another episodes worth to watch. And I like, I hope that you liked the cloud splitting tool. I really love that. I really enjoy it in my day by day activities and looking forward to meet you in the next video.